Michigan lawmakers are considering significantly extending the statute of limitations for sexual assault cases. It's an effort to give survivors more time to seek damages for abuse. News 8's Byron Tollison talked with lawmakers about how the package is aimed to give survivors more time to come forward. The legislation has been introduced multiple times before, but has gone nowhere. Lawmakers are hoping now's the time to get it done to make it easier for survivors of sexual assault to come forward and seek justice. Survivors of sexual assault would have decades longer to sue for damages if a sprawling set of bills overhauling Michigan's statute of limitations becomes law. I think we see instances where a survivor of an assault has uh, experienced deep trauma and they might not uh, reach a point where they're comfortable to come forward with uh, uh, an issue like this uh, until many years after. Lawmakers are considering the Access to Justice Plan, nine bills led by Representative Julie Brixey from Ingham County's Meridian Township, aimed to give survivors more time to get justice. Senator Sean McCann, a Democrat from Kalamazoo, believes it sends an important message. Us, it's very important to us that we, we believe uh, survivors and that survivors have uh, uh, ample opportunity to, you know, process the trauma, but also then uh, do something about uh, what happened to them. Right now, survivors can only pursue civil action until they turn 28, but many survivors of child sexual abuse don't come forward until later in their lives. Child USA, a nonprofit aimed to protect children from abuse, studied more than a thousand survivors in 2020 and found that the average age they reported abuse was 52. Reflecting that, under this legislation, survivors would have until their 52nd birthday to sue for damages. Michigan is behind as it relates to uh, the ability to bring a complaint like this forward before the time runs out. More specifically, the statute of limitations would extend until their 52nd birthday, or 10 years after the assault, or seven years after discovering the impact of their abuse, whichever comes latest. Survivors whose cases have already expired would get a new opportunity to sue with a two-year window to file the lawsuit. And if there's a criminal conviction in the case, the civil statute of limitations would be eliminated entirely and the civil action could be taken at any time. This is really a way to, um, you know, give people more time uh, with a very difficult issue uh, and still have the window be open to uh, to deal with that in the civil courts if they choose to. The legislation has bipartisan support. Republican Senator John DeMoose from Harbor Springs is working on a similar package in the Senate. This is absolutely should not be a partisan issue. There is nothing in uh, progressive thought or conservative thought that condones this type of action. It's unclear if the Senate version would propose all of the same changes as the House package. McCann is waiting to see what the final legislation looks like before deciding whether to endorse the bill. The House version goes further, too. It would also create a survivor's bill of rights to provide more support to those healing from abuse. Amanda?